Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. Hope everybody is having a great weekend. Well, we have another unbagging. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Wasn't expecting this today. Let's see what's in here. Well, we got a little thing here. Let's pull it out. And I believe, let me look in my book here. Yes, I have a book because my brain is just not, not good. Here we go. It's from DIY Choose. It's a lovely store. So this is a mixed bag of tricks. We're going to start with this little thing. They have several of these. A few, I guess. Several. A few. And it looks like a lipstick case, right? I can hardly wait to open this. I didn't look real good, but as you can see, it has that picture of that one that has the birds in it. It's in that same style. It's very nicely made. This is kind of embossed, and I had my fingers all over it, so, it, but look, let's see. Well, that's so not what I was expecting. Um, hmm. Okay. Huh. I thought there was more to that. Why am I surprised? It's supposed to be, it's supposed to have a pin cushion in there. But it just looks like an empty lipstick case. I thought it was going to have a little part that was a pin cushion and then you could put it back on there it's got a magnetic thing so I suppose you could keep your needles down here and somehow make a needle case out of that but I, I must have missed something in the translation so I have to look that up but it said pin cushion I will go back and look at the pictures and see if we got ripped off I don't know but it's pretty that, you know, that way if you wanted to take it with you, it's fairly, oh, well, now I dropped. Hold that thought. Just give me a second. Can't see where it's at. I'll go through this. I thought that one end was supposed to have a pin cushion in it, and then you could put your needles in there, and yeah. What it looks like right now is an empty lipstick case. This does screw up and down. So if that's what you wanted it to be, I guess that's what you could make it into. But yeah, a little disappointed in that one. And that little ditty right there was $3.29. So maybe I misread. But you could keep needles in it because it it's magnetic, so it's not going to come undone. Okay. Let's see what else is in here. All right, we're going to start with the diamond painting stuff and leave the stitching for last because this is another thing that I really wanted to get ever since they started making them. We have all our beautiful beads. We have a toolkit, wax, boat, pen. And in here got a nice plastic case cover oh my goodness bag I'm trying please help me help help me Rhonda help me let's see the other side Ooh. so it takes all these beads and I will insert a picture not right here because one here does not know how to do that number two will put it in the in between I'll have pictures of anything that just doesn't show up let's check out these beads if I can figure out which way okay coming through I like how they keep them all separate that, that keeps them from getting loose let's see how many colors we got 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what this is, is a notebook. This one, it says sketch pad notebook. You know, that's the way it's listed. Nice leather backside and leather front. But beautiful pages. You could make it into a sketchbook or just something to keep notes in. And it is very sticky. Very, very sticky. And it's not sticky in the parts where there are no diamonds. Whoop. Come on. There we go. But I think it'll be pretty after we look at all these drills. So what I say there was eight different colors. So you have silver. You have silver. Kind of a dark aquamarine blue. Aren't those beautiful? And a sapphire blue. That is my birthstone. Then you have kind of a gold. Then you have some and the the drills look all all great as far so far. I forget to tell about the drills. But you have some iridescent, they look like mother of pearl, but they're plastic. Then you have sapphire rounded ones. You have teardrop aqua. And you have some marquees. Those are the big ones that are going to fit along the bottom and the top. See where the big ones are? Yeah. This is going to be beautiful. So, like I said, I will leave a picture. But it looks like it's predominantly blues, blues, silvers, and golds. There's no reds in this, which is fine. Red is not my favorite color. But yeah, and then you just stick them on. I think I'm going to have to start here at the bottom. This I'll treat this just like a diamond painting because I don't want to be reaching over these and getting my hand in the sticky. So I will just go all the way up. But yeah, I've always wanted one of these. Now they do come, not, not this particular model, but their notebooks come either with blank pages or ones with lines. So, I think that's awesome. I have no clue what I'm going to use it for. I just wanted one. Just have wanted one since forever. And that little notebook was $9.99. So, that's not too bad. Okay. Let's see what we got. We have a 14 count. This is called Colored Pottery 3 by Joy Sunday comes in their lovely bag it's not very big it's 15 by 21 did I just say that oh lord we are like repeating ourselves and as you can see that diamond did not come out of that mess believe me it it's been on my desk I have diamonds now on my desk this is why I need my extra table so you get the nice lovely picture let me move that back just a tad ring the bell yes ring the bell by all means i don't know if it's mexican pottery or or what but it's just pretty red green gold pottery it has 12 colors and here are the they try to flatten it out as much as possible you get two two needles and these are your 12 colors aren't they pretty I just love Mexican pottery I just love the way it looks it's just awesome but I'd have to be so careful you know because I'd be afraid of chipping it because I think it's like stoneware probably even more fragile than stoneware I'm guessing I don't know I'm just talking off the top of my head here but yeah nice beautiful colors just beautiful Okay, let's wrap that up so it doesn't get tangled somewhere. Let's see. 15 by 21. It is a biggie. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cute. It's a little. And I don't see any back stitching. Um, let me look. You've got one page and there's no back stitching. It just lists 
full stitch cross stitch all the lovely pretty colors this key does not match this key just saying I will keep repeating that until somehow it gets changed I wish it were but okay this is eight and a quarter which is 21 up and down and it is about 15 and a half on the other side it is 59 by 89 high but it's 14 counts so it's nice and small this will make a cute little thing to put in your kitchen or wherever you want it you know I mean if you have like Mexican de decor you could add it in any room of the house but I just think it's beautiful and small so the actual picture size whoops sorry you'd think I could get this right after a while it looks like close to 16 centimeters, which is six, little over 16 and a quarter, six and a quarter, I'm sorry, by about four and a quarter. So four by six picture, perhaps a little bit over both by 11. So it lost this many centimeters, really? Okay, because it was supposed to be 15. Yep, yeah, it's, oh, well, it's a little bit more than that. About four and a half cent centimeters. All right, but I think it's cute, and it's little. It's just awesome, and I love the colors in it. I love that black with the vivid, yeah. You know, got to have it, got to have it. Lots of pretty, pretty colors in that one. Okay, hang on just a minute. You know, I'm writing the name on the back of them just so I know. So when I go to do a video, making it or whatever, I will know exactly what that is. Okay, let's see what up there is up next. This is called Santa Claus with Cat and Mouse. Isn't that cute? And it's a 14 count as well. Comes in a nice Joy Sunday resealable bag. Instructions on the back. Ugh. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, did I tell you that it was surged all the way around the other one? Just saying. But they usually are with Joy Sunday. Nice picture. So it looks like there's some back stitching in this. Not too carried away. Around the cat, the mouse, you know, most of Santa. And everything that's supposed to stand out. Except for maybe this down here. But I don't think it's that big. It has... I'm looking. 15 colors. It has full stitch... I'm looking. I don't know what that... Full stitch, three-quarter stitch. See, there's a three-quarter there. And back stitch. These are your back stitch symbols. This is your three-quarter symbol, I'm assuming. The half ones are like four... Like a checkerboard. Like Not a checkerboard, but like four little squares in a thing with a line in it. That's a half stitch. So, yeah, there's a lot of three-quarter stitches in this. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what else happens here. Okay, I'm going to turn this over. Comes with two needles, which is awesome. You're ready to start. And your 15 colors, very bright, vivid colors. you got Christmas red, Christmas green, maybe a dark gold. A light yellow that's for like the cat because cats two different colors and this light yellow goes around the book but just pretty colors nice and bright there's not much not not a whole lot of thread is what I wanted to say nice soft threads DMC's good quality the day that 
DMC signed up with all these stores. They made a fortune, I'm sure. Let's take a look at the canvas. So it's a little bit bigger than the last one. And as you can see, it looks pretty animated here, but the back stitching is what's going to actually make this picture the way it is. It'll be just awesome. Nice big surged around the edges, all four edges. Nice big key. And it looks like they're all in solid colors. Even the rest of them are a solid color, so that's cool. Never saw that before. That's a first. All right, this is supposed to be 27 by 31. Whoop, did it again. I am just big on turning that sucker the other way, aren't I? I'm trying. I am trying. Okay, it's like 28 and a half. by 24 so it lost its mark so it's like three centimeters off on this side and let's see, three centimeters off on the other side the actual picture is 23 and a half which is like nine and a quarter by 19 and a half which is like seven and three quarters inches so eight by let me see yeah it would fit in an eight by ten frame just checking yep but it's cute it's just awesome I just love joy Sunday just yeah but, you know, I'm liking other companies as well. So, nice, clear colors. You can see what's going on. But there is going to be a lot of back stitching. And I can't really tell where the three-quarter stitches are. There's some right there. See it? It's like a half. That means that you go across this way and then you come from the middle back to this corner <coughs> on a three-quarter stitch instead of stitching the whole square. But there's a few up there just around and in points. So I don't see too many. This thing isn't that big. There's some right there. There's one right there. It shows up better here. So not too hard. The back stitching would, would be something. So we'll see. Okay, let me put it. I have to mark on it. Thank goodness for Sharpies. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Let's put that up there. Now this one was a little bit bigger. It is 46 by 38. It's called Red Maple Red Maple Homeland, if I could just talk. It's a 14 count too, and it's 46 by 38. Still thirsty today. I feel like I could drink about a gallon of water. I can kind of tell that we haven't had rain in a while. So, I didn't know, you know, how this would look. The picture on the website was a bit pixelated, if you will. Now, this, I'll take it out. Hang on. Comes in the nice bag, information on the back. But this is really heavy. And 48 by, no, 46 by 38 seems kind of big for a 14 count. So, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. That is if I can get it out of the bag. Wrestling. Wrestling. Come on. Get out of that corner, little buddy. Sometimes they get to be so thick. But this picture looks... It's like a picture of the actual stitching. So, I don't know if you could change it and make it 
more definition, I guess. If you wanted to, you could probably add some back stitching in there. But this looks like the uh, the actual stitching stitched already stitched picture. If I could just talk, separated into six pages. It has forty three colors. My goodness gracious, I'm seeing full stitch. See, there's no back stitching in it, so it only only calls for full stitch. But that's a nice, big, huge key. This key does not match this key. Let's take a look at the colors. That's if I can get a hold of them all. Come on, and they're all nice and long. I'm looking for my flat page. There we go. Hold that thought. Separate it out here. There's two whole cards of almost whole cards. 43 colors. Comes with two needles. Look at those beautiful, beautiful colors. And it does tell you the number that's on of the thread, which will match on your canvas, and the DMC number, and how many strands of each. It has, like this one has six strands, this one has 11, you know, just depending on where it's used. Okay, there's no more on the other side. Then you have these. Try to keep it up. Look at those blues and golds and oranges to complement that. Was there any reds? No, I didn't see any reds yet. Maybe they're on the other side. Same thing. It's all printed out says it's a 14 count. Now, sometimes if I have a lot going, I will write on this red maple. What is it called? Red maple. Oh, God, I've forgotten already. Red maple homeland on the actual card so that if they get separated for some reason and I lay it down someplace else and think it goes with another kit, I will know immediately what, you know, what it goes to. Now this number right here, this, let me turn it around so you can see. Oh, we've got to keep looking at colors. I know, I had a sparkly squirrel. I just want to get this said. This F126, let me look, is the number of the canvas, F126. So that matches, and it should be on this canvas. So we'll look here in a minute. Let's look at these colors. There's my red. There's my red. It's 355 this time. Lots of beautiful, beautiful colors. Mm. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. So like I said, you could go in here and define things, you know, with a darker color. If you have extra DMC color. That's why I say save your threads every once in a while. You know, you never, especially the dark ones, because they'll come in handy for this kind of stuff. You could go around this with a darker color. And kind of define things if you wanted to, if if you felt like it. But these are just absolutely stunning, stunning threads. Just beautiful. Beautiful colors. Mm. Love it. I like autumn. I, it's my favorite time of year, you know, when everything smells nice and cool and crisp. And it's not hot and it's not freezing. Yeah, I like fall. But it is, like I said, broke up into six parts, so there's six pages to this. Nice big, big page where you can see everything. So if you were a beginner and said, I don't know how to where to start, start at page one and work your way across and down, whatever. Whatever works for you, heck, I start up here. I don't even look at this anymore, but if I was a new person, I would want to start on page one and make sure I got it all right. And You know, I'm seeing the symbols. Yeah, I'd be totally neurotic about the whole thing. But, yeah, let's take a look. It's 14 count, like I said. So, it's not very wide. Now, this kit, hold that thought. This kit was... 
The Santa with mouse was three ninety nine. The pottery was two ninety nine, and this maple one was ten sixty nine. So, yeah, for fourteen count, I think that's that's pretty good. So let's see. It says it is forty six by fifty. Sorry, 46 by 38. I am just trying to add so much to this. It's surged all the way around the edges. Nice, soft, surge. Uh, 46 on the button, which is 18 inches. And it is coming down 37. So, hmm. It's supposed to be 38, so it's 37 by what? by okay yeah it was on the mark for 46 the actual picture size I'm trying to get it wound up so it's not so big picture size now I don't know that you you can if you want do that black line all the way around you don't have to because it'll be framed is going from black line to black line it is 30, 38 and a half, which is 15-ish, by almost 12, which is 30. So, it lost 8 centimeters on all the way around. So, what did I just say? Holy cow. So, 11, 11 and a half, no, 11 three quarters by 15 almost 15 11 by 15 so it won't fit in a 14 by 11 frame so yep it would be the next one but you could put something around the edges nice clear pattern now this tree is a little bit confetti but it looks like it's the same consistent colors so you got this and then the blue and the pink the red dots and the lines so it's not helter-skelter. You have a few places like that, like this part right here in these mountains. But everything else seems to be kind of cut and dry. I don't know why. Huh. Well, I'm just looking because on here it has lines around that. I don't know why they do that. I don't get it because there is no backstitch. As you can see, none. But I would go back and, and define those trees and stuff. It might take you a little bit longer, but I think it would make the whole thing pop. I really do. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. And, oh, I was going to show you the nice clear. You can actually read all the numbers all the way across on your, sorry, turning you know, on your key and see what each symbol is. It's all nice and clear. And if not, it's on your, your book. But the symbol will be different. The numbers, this top row and the bottom row will correspond. The symbols are different on the, the chart. But I think it's gorgeous. I mean, this has potential to be better than it is, you know. I think it's good, but I still think it needs definition. I mean, I'd have to see it stitched in person to see if these trees would, you know, do their own shading thing. So, it'd be interesting. It'll be interesting. All right, and that, my friends, is all I got from them. And I will be back in a few moments, and we'll start one of these projects. Be right back. All right, guys, I am back. Now, I did look up the lipstick holder, and it's supposed to be empty. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, Things shouldn't fall through there, but there are two holes there, so I'm not sure how that's supposed to hold things. But it did say, I'm just going to grab three things here. 
that see this outside edge is um, magnetic so it shouldn't fall but it twists down in there so that the lid shuts and then when you want to use it theoretically you're just supposed to turn it and the needle will stay there because it's I can feel it grab there see it's magnetized so I guess it'll work but it you know I mean nothing's gonna come out of there because it is magnetized and it won't come undone you know real easy it won't turn so yeah so we'll use it I just think it's cute and I love that pattern, and I bought it in diamond painting and cross stitch, so yeah. So as you can see, we're going to start this notebook, and I will have put a picture in there. So just got to cut my edge off here and get a few of these out. Now these are actually going to be, I have to see where my, I got to get out my handy dandy scissors, or scissors, tweezers. And put them on this have kind of a well I was gonna say it had a blue cast but when I lay it down it looks like it's purple and aqua these have really come in handy the only thing I don't like about they do make one that has a square end on it so that you won't scratch your diamonds so you got to be pretty careful picking them up Well, just dump them out on the table. It's not like they're going to get lost. And you could pick it up with your hands if you wanted to. I just kind of give them a push once they're where they need to be. And we're not going to do this whole thing tonight, honest. We're just going to do part of it so you can get to see the the colors that go there and just give it a little push and I've saved all my excess whoop, my excess drills from other kits and they're mostly the uh, what do you call them special drills the ones that are like rhinestones because I can use those for other projects if I don't have enough or whatever they're they're pretty standard gonna lay it down and pick it up get those out of the way make sure it's straight that glue is fairly sticky so I just kind of give them a little punch they're not going very far not with that glue Okay, and the next color we're going to use is number four, which is the gold ones. Now I'm using the same drill pan I had for the last two projects. Still on the same little pad of glue. And after a while it starts collecting stuff, but since I left the back on it, oh, I didn't open that yet. I just go like that and it shoves that wax right up in there and you just kind of even it off. It'll get pushed to a con concave convex, you know, from being on top of the diamonds. I don't want too big of an end because heaven knows we could have issues. Whoa. Okay, have a few. And then you just shake the boat and lay it down like that, and they all go into line. So you can see what you're doing, and I have to move it. Okay, so while we're we're putting these on and I've cut all my my colors apart I'm just gonna lay them over there so they don't get confused there there's a bag over here I really don't want to touch there's the two that are open let's talk about DIY shoes they have diamond painting they have cross stitch they have embroidery 
They have beaded cross stitch. They also do customs. They have diamond painting crafts and cross stitching crafts, which is good. On the diamond painting crafts, they have 2,827 products. On the cross stitch crafts, they have 257. So still, there is a lot to choose from. If you have to move it, just kind of wiggle it back and forth till it gets where you want it to be. And see how, I don't know if you can, there's just a little bit, see how it's getting sunken in from touching? I just take that excess wax and just take it off. And I do have the plastic still on the rest of it, because this is pretty in depth and that way it's not going anywhere or I don't have to worry about what side is what I told you about that don't put the wrong side on the plastic you'll never get it off of here it's just insane so I just leave it there and I'll just move it up as I go but I just wanted to do this And they have beautiful notebooks. There's like an entire section of just the notebooks alone in the diamond painting. So you can get anything for like an adult or a small child, boy or girl. There's all different kinds of choices on these. And I like that they're lined. Not the kids that are little, little. They're more concerned about having like a blank page where they can make themselves a picture. You know, they're not so much into the writing part of all that yet. Now I'll have to look at this, like stand over it and see if there's any diamonds that need to be moved over. Like, well I can tell that one does. And see there's another curl of wax coming off because I must have pushed too much in there. But if the diamonds stop sticking to the end, it means you need more wax. So I just Shove some more in there, and we're good. Now, I know that might not look straight to you. Something's a little rotten. So, I just kind of tweak it just the way I want it to. This one needs to come down just a bit. But you can get it most any place you want. That one needs to be moved over up and you can take a a credit card and run it right along the edge and it will straighten these diamond painting diamonds up last night I was working on a small diamond thing I was working with one color I thought for sure I had what I needed got them all on to what I was working on had to take them all off because they were the wrong drill so they'll come off now right there is what I want to talk about. If, let's say, these were all wrong, do not put them back with the rest of them that have never been against glue because they will all stick together. So let's say this wasn't four. I would want to go and, let's say it was number one, move them all to a number one spot and not ever get them mixed up with what hasn't touched glue as adverse to what has touch glue because it will stick to these just enough that they'll all stick together and you will have one heck of a mess I have learned that the hard way there's a difference between having a sticky residue and having like a static staticky type residue or oil on them these drills are not dirty I haven't seen dirty drills since I started this again yet. So if I run into dirty drills, I'll show you what to do with that. But it won't work. There's a difference between oily and sticky. These will have glue on the back 
from being against this glue and it's very thick. So put it where it actually needs to be. If you have any extra, I would go wherever it is and put it. If you don't need to use that one or two leftover drills ever again in this project, throw it away. Do not put it in with your other drills. Just saying. Sometimes drills have like an oil residue to them. And you can see that in the bag. I can't explain it because none of these are like that. Um, if they're oily, take them out and put them, get them to a paper towel. Pour them on the paper towel. Then get yourself like a handy wipe, like one of those wet ones. Pour all the drills from the paper towel into that. Close it up and move it back and forth for eh, two, three minutes. Then lay them out, you know, like get them out of that wet one, if you will, and lay them out and smooth them out on your paper towel and let them dry and walk away. Come back and they'll be fine. That, drill, that oil will be gone. We used to have a lot of problems with oily drills, but I haven't seen that again yet. So, but it'll, it'll just look like plastic and water in there you know and it'll have a drilly you'll tell you can tell how what oily drills look like but just rent don't try to rinse them in water and all that just use a wet one and then lay them out to dry because if you don't let them dry they won't stick to this glue worth a darn at all But yeah, I've put drills in the wrong place and then shoved them back into my nice clean drills. What a nightmare from hell. So move them where they have to be. Or if you're not going to work on that section right now, put them in a little extra boat. I'm sure you got one or two somewhere and set them aside and put like a little piece of paper saying this is drill number five or whatever it is. You know, and then use them where they need to go. But don't mix them with your, your good your good drills. Just saying. It'll save you lots of heartache time. And do not lay a piece of paper down on any diamond painting, any of these sticky projects like this. The paper, regular paper paper, will not come off at all. So, just... Just little helpful diamond painting hints. All right. So let's see, what else do they have? Oh, they also have the mystery diamond painting. Which I'm excited to try. I don't know. They're not very big. They're like 30 by 40s. So I think that would be different. Not knowing what it is. They just send you the drills and all of the... Uh, Symbols will be like this. I mean, it'll be like monochromatic, so to speak, where you you won't know what color is what. It, it'll be neat. It'll be different. I've never done anything like that. All right. I think we got all those done. And then I just cut the top. See, I cut the, the corner. Cut the top all the way over to the, the edge seam. Stick the boat in there. Give it a little tap if they don't want to come out. Force them down in there, and it comes right off. Now, if for any reason your boat get something on it sticky or something weird just take a little sanitizer on a piece of paper like a paper towel and it'll just come right off just come right off I'm looking for number two give me number two not number three not number five where is number two no. are you number two you are isn't that a pretty blue? Just gorgeous. 
and see I just barely cut a corner I'd say that's about a half inch I don't want too big of an opening whoops I do tend to pour out way too many and just give it a shake and lay it out well now see it's not sticking so I just push down on this and it shoves the color right up there and if it doesn't take a sharp thing we'll get it out and see it comes right out in one piece make sure all the old wax isn't there now you can take this piece watch this this one's kind of dry but it'll work and just fold it And it'll fold up into whatever shape you want it to. But this will probably take a little bit to do because it's so dense with colors. It'd be a nice project for the weekend if you wanted it to. Like I said, go as fast or as slow as you want. Get over there. See, I have to move it. And some of these special drills require you to put more wax in. Like I said, if it stops sticking, add some wax. It's going to need it. I can't tell if I'm really hitting the mark or not. I'm just kind of guessing. Okay, so they have um, buy fifty dollars worth and get ten percent off. They also have buy two get one free, which is awesome. And they have free shipping over thirty nine dollars. See, I told you it changes from store to store whatever they want to do but that's pretty cool and for orders over fifty dollars you get ten percent off over a hundred dollars you get twelve percent off over fifty dollars you get no one hundred over two hundred you get fifteen percent off I could just say it right geez please I knew I'd mess that up. And if you spend over $29, you get a $2 get discount. $2 gift discount if I could just talk. I'm telling you. This is a nice fun little project. Let's see. They have accessories, like I said. They have 98 accessories for cross stitch and a 416 for diamond painting. They also sell extra drills and extra threads. You know, one in diamond painting, one in cross stitch. Just saying. Which is kind of cool. Never had to buy extra drills. And they also have embroidery kits and embroidery accessories did I tell you they also do paint by number and they have a separate joy Sunday category under cross stitch which is kind of cool and I think that's about it but that's pretty good I mean they have a wide variety of stuff to choose from There's so much stuff out there that doesn't cost a whole lot of money to do. You know, you don't have to get all carried away 
I'm about saving money and getting something that's going to look like something when it's done. But this would make a lovely gift for somebody. Okay, we got all that done. See, I'm just going, whoa, come back here, little Sheba. You know, somebody that liked to write, say, in a journal or had a reason to make a tally of things or just take little notes so you can remember because the Lord knows the Lord can't remember. Where's that seven? I wanted to put those on there. I believe it's this one. These pretty little blue ones. I love turquoise. I love real tur turquoise too. But I don't want a squash blossom necklace. No, that's just not me. I'm more into the rings, you know, something that looks fairly delicate. I only need a few of these. Whoa, see, you just doesn't take any time at all to get way too many. Okay, move the scissors so we don't cut ourselves. Those scissors are sharp. And then we're going to put these right like that. These have kind of an iridescent coating to them. So they're kind of purple. Like I said, I got to get it where I can see it, guys. And then I'll show you. Whoop, come back, little Sheba. At least these are big enough to see. And I just, I'm barely laying them there until I find out that that's where I want them to live for permanent like. These are beautiful little beads. They're like plastic iridescent. Like they have a coating, AB coating on them. Oh, come on. I have to get them to lay right. I don't want to have to scratch the top. Because heaven knows I've done it. And you do have excess. You're going to have to put these all around the inside of that mess, too. But I'm sure... Whoop. See what I mean? I'm trying to get it turned around here. And you could probably pick it up with your hand, but my luck, I'll get my hands in the glue. Let's not do that. Not like it leaves a residue on your hands, because it doesn't. Not that I know of. There we go. We got that whole section. I got to kind of stand it up. Make sure everybody's where they need to be. Now, you can do this at a later date, because it doesn't harden the glue. It's It'll always be sticky. But there you go. Whoop. We got that one little section done. Isn't that beautiful? So you can see the purples and the golds. Now I have to straighten out those, but I'm going to wait until I get the others there. And then I'll show you with like a, a card how you can straighten them. And I might, I don't know if I have a, a straightener. I used to use this when I diamond painted. I went and I got... In the hardware department, they have this. So you just put it in between. I can't do it now because that part in the middle is still sticky. But it'll straighten them right out. But yeah, isn't that beautiful? Anxious to get it all done. And then we're just going to take our excess and put them back. See, I have to cut that. Dag nabbit. Kind of try to avoid cutting if I don't have to. These are big enough. You can pick them up and they go right in. The others, not so much. I kind of got to pour them. All right, guys. Let me put this back like this and lay. Don't set it on the sticky part. Just set it on the plastic. It's what those magnetic holders are for. Since we don't have one, this is what we got. But isn't that beautiful? It's going to be gorgeous. And then when it's all done, I'll just smash it all. You know, go like line for line just like that. And push them all down. Make sure everything's adhered real good. And change, you know, move anything if I have to. Alright guys. Well, thank you for joining me. And please go check out DIYChoose.com uh, And check out what... what things they have to offer 
Lots of diamond paintings, lots of cross stitch stuff. Yeah, just absolutely beautiful. And prices are just absolutely wonderful. This uh, notebook was only $9.99. And for 10 bucks, you could make this as a gift for somebody. Seriously? Come on. Yeah, and you did it yourself. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.